Well, our beginning has started and now we're ready to move indoors so we can get a little drier. We're gonna start our show off at St. John's Catholic Church, take a look at some history and the beauty of that incredible building. Its architecture is unique, historic, and beautiful. St. John the Evangelist Catholic Church in Delphus, founded in 1844 in a nearby cabin, this building has been home to St. John since 1881. The Romanesque style causes it to stand out in Northwest Ohio's region of large churches, rounded arches instead of high peaks, high rounded ceilings designed to be uplifting, both physically and spiritually, and designed to spread a message to all who enter. Let's start our tour of the beautiful church right at the front and the front doors. The life of Christ, God's creation, and the sacrifice Jesus made on the cross. All of that told right here on these two locally crafted copper doors. But the symbolism and history doesn't stop there. Let's go inside. Look at the high arches, the natural light, the colors, all chosen with purpose, chosen more than a century ago. The church building, held sacred then, is still held sacred today. Renovations over the years have been necessary, but church officials are dedicated to preserving history, like the communion rail, which was protected during the last round of renovations and is still a focal point of the church. It's just one of many things which will always link parishioners and the Delphus community to the beginning, when a man named Ferdinand came to America from Germany and then arranged to bring his brother, also a priest. That launched where the church is today. You know, the parish is uh, around 180 years old. Mm -hmm. This building itself, though, isn't quite that old, but this has obviously been here quite a long time. Sir, yeah, it's our third church, and this was dedicated in 1881. It's been through a renovation, we think, about every uh, 20, I think 25 years on average. Something significant, we do some sort of significant improvement, and uh, it just needs updating. So 1881, and it's in really good shape, and people have taken very good care of it. We use it a lot. You know, there's, there's mass here every day. There's usually a couple of funerals a week. There's usually a wedding or two, uh, four masses on the weekend. There's thousands of people that come through here every day, for every week. Among the ways you've been able to keep the church relevant, you open the church up to allow people to walk, to use it as an indoor walking space. Yeah, the church is open uh, until nine o'clock every night except Sunday for people to pray and to walk. Um, some people you find just sitting in a pew or up by the tabernacle. Other times you'll see people just taking laps and, and then we call it health walking. Uh, but sometimes they're praying, sometimes they're catching up. Sometimes they're uh, just enjoying the, the place that is really probably their favorite place on earth. And uh, it's, it's kind of neat to come over here at any kind of given time and you'll see, you'll see walkers. And finally, there's a lot of beautiful art in here. A lot of beautiful paintings, stained glass windows. If you could pick out one piece that maybe speaks to you the most, what mm -hmm. would that be? I, I'm in here every day, and I look at the skies and the stained glass windows every day. They're just uh, there's something about the, the colors and the skies and the windows that just captures me each and every day. But every day a new detail also gets me. But uh, I would say that every day I look at the skies. All right, thank you very much, You're Father very Dave Reinhardt from St. John's Church welcome. in Delphus.